Okay, so this is the Jurassic Expert here. Um, so yeah, I am reviewing the, obviously I'm reviewing the uh, two new Wave 3 figures, the, the Zia and Triceratops and the Mercenary and the Ankylosaurus. These two, I actually really like them, uh, the figures, and well, um, I, I know I saw the Mercenary in the film, I know it was him. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they intentionally did that, if, if Mattel intentionally did that, congrats, man, uh, because I remember seeing pictures of the mercenary and I saw him in the film and I was like, that's him. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'll get into the review. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe and like the video uh so yeah i guess we'll get into the review now so um i guess so i could go over the sculpt and paint um i guess i'll just go over this first it is kind of a pain to get him to hold this uh but yeah these can actually close and open so you could have that if you wanted don't really know why but they're designed so you, it looks like you could like clamp onto the ankylosaur like that. I don't really know why you'd want to do that exactly, but I thought it was a fun little feature that they included. Um, so yeah, let's get into the sculpt of the mercenary first. Mine, um, I think has gotten a little beaten when I got it because there's a little Think there at the pouches and it looks like it is slightly peeling off there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to peel off though as long as I don't pick at the area, uh, which I won't. So yeah, uh, arm can move out that much, elbow can move in that much, could rotate the arm all around again, don't really know why. Can I kind of move the bicep? No, not bicep. Okay, I've forgotten. <laughs> um, yeah, leave in the comments if you know what that is. I just cannot remember at the moment. Forearm? Is that it? Forearm? Um, so yeah, there are gloves there, and you can move it all the way around. Don't really know why, I guess, if you wanted to make him look like he had a weird broken arm or something. I don't know. So that goes the same for both arms. He could twist his body around that much on that side and that much on that side. And legwise, you could have him move his leg out that much, out forward that much, back that much, and that's the same for both legs. You could bend his knee inward that much, out kick outward that much, and it could spin all the way around if you wanted to. Again, not really sure why you'd want to do this, but you know what, I'm not going to judge, never mind. Um, Sculpt-wise, I like this sculpt. Uh, they've put a lot of detail into it. It is mainly all one plastic, except for like the glasses and the pouch and the um, boots and the gloves. And I think that's supposed to be like a tiny watch. The camera will focus on that. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Uh, oh yeah, there is paint there for the little buckles. I don't know. Um, and yeah, the Ankylosaur. I kind of like the sculpt, but I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to be a baby, and it just looks like a shrunken down adult. So I wish that if they were trying to go for like a baby Ankylosaur look, I kind of wish they gave it more characteristics of a baby in Kylosaur because the spikes would not be this fully grown and it would not be this mature. Um, so yeah, I'll move those two off to the side. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Otherwise, it is a nice little figure that comes with the mercenary. Uh, so let's actually get into Zia. Um, so yeah, one complaint that I do have is 
the jacket, I mean, with Claire and Maisie, they came with a jacket and a sweater, and both versions of Claire, it, they were like a separate plastic, but for Zia, there is no separate plastic that's molded on. I mean, I could live with it, though. It's not like... I mean, that's not a turnoff for me for this figure. Um, because, I don't know, I kind of like the character in the film as well. Uh, just the strong, independent women um, that immediately would snap back at a character like Wheatley. Um, so, yeah, enough about that. Let's get into the articulation. You can move her arm out that much. You could move her arm in that much. You could spin it all around there. You could bend her elbow in that much, out that much. You could spin it all around. Don't really know why still. Uh, that's the same for both arms. And you could move her leg. You can move her leg out that much, in that much. And her knee, you could and we're with that much and also you could kick her leg out that much and kick her leg back that much and the knee in that much and yeah also that's how far she could actually she could go full 360 don't really know why you'd want to go full 360 i get if you want to do that or something not full 360 though and head can actually move up that much down that much and it could tilt that much and tilt that much no whole lot of articulation but i mean they're like 3.75 figures right so yeah i mean it doesn't really matter uh for the triceratops um that you can't really tell in camera but these are actually painted they painted the horns but strangely enough not the eye and again if they were going for a baby triceratops look I really wish they gave it more characteristics of a baby Triceratops and not just a shrunken down adult Triceratops, like little uh, nub horns because it would be kind of like a baby deer with its horns growing out, but they're little, little uh, nubs. I don't know what you would call those. Um, they're like little studs. Yeah, I think that's the word I'm looking for. And it comes with this. This is supposed to be like a blood draw kit. Why can I not remember what it's really called? Uh, they're sculpted in kind of like a first aid kit. Some shots or tranquilizers. Tr tranquilizers. Tranquil tranquilizer dart. <laughs> Either that or they're shots. I'm guessing that they're probably shots. Because she's supposed to be a veterinarian, right? And I have no idea what those are. And then there's the little blood sack and a little thing for you to stick onto the Triceratops leg. And it looks like Zia is taking the Triceratops's blood, possibly to do some blood work, or maybe even give it to Blue. Right, so we know that now. I don't know, I kind of would like the baby T Rex. <laughs> um, but technically, Zia comes with a tiny T Rex, so. Um, yeah, I almost forgot to go into sculpt with, um, Zia. So the glasses are sculpted in, um, the head sculpt, I don't know, it doesn't look exactly like Daniela Panita, but I could see, I mean, you could see this figure, um, you could tell it's supposed to be Daniela Panita's character as Zia, and, yeah, I mean, again, the sculpted but it's pretty nice sculpt and the shirt you can't really see but it's actually a little bit sculpted there and yeah I mean this is really good here like they got the little rolls up the jeans and they got the feet or the shoes sculpted uh, paint wise I forgot to mention paint uh, yeah, there is a little bit of green on her neck from the jacket, which is a little weird. Uh, and it kind of cuts off here, where it's supposed to still be yellow, but then it just cuts off, and then the yellow starts again. Then also, I got like two little yellow dots there. Doesn't bother me a whole lot, but... Um, 
yeah, I know enough with the nitpicking about it. Let's go over size comparisons between the two figures uh, for with another main character and a strong female role model. Here they are next to Claire. Next to Claire, if Zia didn't fall over. So, why is she not on the stand right now? There we go. So, um, there, there's, I guess, a size reference for that. And taking away Claire now, here they are next to a Gallimimus figure, just a reference to a another, uh, just a reference to, why can't I think of the words right now? Uh, it's a reference to another attack pack. Huh, I think the leg on this one's a little warped. I'll have to fix that later. Uh, actually, I still need to take... Okay, yeah, I need those ones out of the way, too. Um, so here they are next to the two baby, or miniature, um, dinosaurs that come with the two figures, and here they are again with Claire. And... Yeah, so I guess I need to do the outro now, but definitely be expecting more videos within the upcoming weeks. I have a whole lot of things that I want to review. I found a whole lot of stuff over the past couple of weeks. Mail has come in containing stuff. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified for whenever I put up future videos like this. And remember, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, so here's the, here's the code for Zia. And here is the code for um, the mercenary and ankylosaurus. There you go. Hopefully you didn't leave yet. Uh, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>